y'all, welcome to H2 Swole. Uh, today's episode is a solo episode. Um, Rod uh, was supposed to be here, but he didn't feel good. So uh, we all hope that Rod gets feeling better. Um, anyway, so today it's just me and Louie. Um, I was going to go ahead and announce a winner for the contest this week, but I don't think you guys realize how significant like the contest is, like what you get. Um, so I'm going to extend the contest out another week, guys and gals. Um, you will actually win a H2 Swo uh, personal nutrition plan, and you will also win a stainless steel dumbbell necklace. So, uh, wait, wait, wait. Here's a picture of the prizes. In case you guys don't think they're cool, check this out. This is the prizes. Okay, guys, now that you have seen the prizes, maybe a few more of you guys will jump in there and enter the contest. Remember, the only thing you got to do to enter the contest is get a friend to subscribe to the channel. Uh, after you do that, just make sure that you uh, comment below that you did it or their name or something of the sort to say, hey, I, I'm entered in the contest. Uh, you can email it to me at h 2 swo at gmail.com, uh, message me on Facebook, uh, however you want to do it. Just just let me know that you're in the contest so I have your name in the hat to pull out. Um, now that that's said and done, and I try to convince you guys how awesome the contest is, uh, let's jump on to some questions. Uh, this first question is from Mel. Uh, Marvel or DC? Marvel. Definitely Marvel. Um, this next question is from my daughter, Rihanna. Uh, how come Louie never answers questions? Uh, let's see. Uh, Louie, you got anything for this? Nothing. Okay. Um, I guess it's kind of like that owl and the Tootsie Roll pop thing. The world may never know. But, uh, all right. And this one's a good question. This is from Joe. Uh, can't pronounce your last name. Uh, I'm not going to try and butcher it. Uh, my brother said, if I keep going to the gym so much, I'm going to overtrain myself. What do you think? Uh, well, Joe, I think that the word overtrain has taken a new meaning over the last couple years. Um, thanks to the Iron Addicts and C.T. Fletcher. Um, I mean, I'm a huge fan, by the way. But thanks to those guys, the word overtraining is now used to describe you pushing yourself to the limit. Uh, it, it means you did a hard ass workout and it's like no other workout you've ever done before. You pushed yourself till you couldn't go no more, okay? The original meaning of overtraining was just the breaking down of your body after, you know, so, so long of no, of, of no recovery uh, the stress from everyday life included in your workouts. Let's say this was a cup. This cup's you, okay? Uh, you put some, uh, I got to get up and go to work today. Uh, my kids acted up at school and I got to go to there. Uh, I got to go lift weights now. Uh, I got to get up early if I'm going to go running before I go to work. Uh, bosses are coming next week and uh, I got to get everything ready. That's, that's you, right? Well, eventually... If you don't give yourself a little bit of rest, this cup's going to start overfilling, you know? Um, and that's pretty much what overtraining is. Overtraining is actually a, occurs, like, mainly with, like, ultra-athletes and, and people that are, like, at a high level of, of competing. Um, to say somebody like myself uh, is ever overtrained is, is, you know, not likely. Um I'm, I'm just being honest guys like uh, you know just because you're tired and sore the next day and you you had the hardest workout you ever had last night and you can't move this morning that's that's not overtraining um, now 
if you push yourself all the time and you're working out seven days a week and you're going hard every day, then yeah, you will eventually, you know, overexert yourself and you, know, you will have the symptoms of overtraining. Uh, it's okay to work out seven days a week, but it's not okay to work out hard seven days a week. You cannot give it everything you've got every day as far as, you know, working out. Because like I said, it's not just the working out, it's, it's the stress of everyday life, you know, it's the stress of maybe not getting enough sleep. You know, there's all kinds of factors that, that, that go into your body. But um, the biggest thing you could do, I mean, if you feel like you are overtrained, and this is a way to kind of measure it, uh, like when you actually are overtrained, uh, you're going to you're gonna lose, you know, libido. Like your sex drive is going to be gone. Um, that's, that's a sure way of knowing. Uh, a lot of times people with sex drive issues, it's not actually, you know, anything but the fact that they've been pushing themselves for too long so they no longer have, you know, any kind of sex drive left. Um, you'll get weaker. Uh, you'll notice the weakness more in the, um, in the gym. Let's say you can't get as many reps as you could a couple weeks ago, or you can't go up as many plates as you did a couple weeks ago, or you're not, you know, getting your time and your laps like you did a couple weeks ago. That, that's a sure sign that maybe you need to back off a little bit and, you know, give yourself, say, a, a week of just, you know, I mean, you don't have to, like, not go to the gym for a week. You could just, you know, do what I guess they call it deloading. Uh, you go to the gym, do, like, the light stuff, you know, just to keep your body active. But don't hit it hard. And after you come back, uh, you're going you're gonna to make gains again. Uh, that's another thing that, that sometimes is a sign. Uh, sometimes when you hit a plateau and you can't get no strength gains, uh, sometimes that means that you're... You're a little overtrained. Maybe you need to back off. But, but like I said, Joe, it, it's it's very unlikely as just a regular guy that goes to the gym and likes to work out that you're ever going to overtrain yourself. I mean, honestly, I mean, we don't push ourselves to the level of these elite athletes do. And, you know, I just, just being honest. But that's my opinion on overtraining. Uh, uh, my opinion on overtraining is the word overtraining is overused. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Last question is from, uh, let's see. Here's one from, uh, Amy, uh, Smith. She says, where is your favorite place to work out? That's, uh, Hmm, that's, that's a pretty cool question. Uh, for me, uh, my favorite place to work out is um, probably in the woods, like hiking uh, along the riverbank, uh, you know, just hiking through the hills and stuff. That's probably my favorite type of working out and place to do it. Uh, uh, if Rod was here, he'd probably say, as long as I get to work out with Charlie, that's my favorite place and no <laughs> but anyways um uh me and rod actually we both enjoy working out here um i'll give you guys a virtual tour in just a minute and show you where we actually do a lot of working out at it's kind of a um our fortress of solitude here you know but uh we both have memberships at baptist health in corbin uh that 24 fitness in corbin uh, Rod even has a membership at Powerhouse uh, in London. So uh, we got, I think, uh, I think we both got a membership at the rec center uh, downtown Corbin. So neither one of us have a shortage of places to go work out. But my favorite has to be like in the mountains, the hills, and, you know, just being out, out in it, you know. Um, my second favorite place would be uh, here um, in the next room behind me. Um, and then, uh, after that, about anywhere is fine. Uh, I don't necessarily like crowded places, but, you know, I work out about anywhere, so I'm not real picky. But, uh, I'm going to give you guys a grand tour 
of our domain. So uh, here we go. Guys and gals, so here we are. Uh, this is our fortress of solitude here. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, I bet you get some sweet games on whatever the hell that is. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is uh, kind of like a, uh, a squat type machine. It's actually pretty cool because you can put as much weight on it as you want without getting killed if you don't have somebody here to work out with. Uh, this squat rack here, um, it's a, uh, a rack that me and uh, uh, Josh Sawyers actually uh, was the one that did all the torching and welding on it. Um, we made this probably about three years ago. Does a good job though. Uh, our little pads there. Um, uh, some people call pads traps, but you know, for some of us guys, we don't have those. So <laughs> we got those at the dollar store. Uh, over here is the cable pull down. Uh, we've got uh, dumbbells and stuff over here. Uh, homemade sandbag, curl bar. Uh, uh, jump rope over there. This is the bench we use the most. Uh, sledgehammer. Use this bench a lot for incline exercises. Um, ab stuff. Uh, broomstick for stretching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say the pink gloves are rods since he's not here to defend himself. Uh, this, uh, this machine right here, you know, since I've never used it. Um, um, I use it to hang these chains on, which these chains I do use when I'm over here doing dips, but you know, that's the purpose of that machine is just a chain hanger. Uh, this, uh, this right here though, this total gym, it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, really cool for uh, stretching out your muscles and stuff. Uh, I know it seems kind of lame, but uh, Chuck Norris uses it. I mean, it's gotta be cool, right? Um, but that's it guys, uh, that's our little Fortress of Solitude where we get most of our gains from. Um, other than the other places that I mentioned and uh, there I hope you like it, uh, it. alright guys so that's it for this week's episode I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh, don't forget to comment like subscribe uh, hit the link up below uh, in the description to check out our merchandise I uh, will be adding more merchandise um, right now it's kind of limited there's only probably three shirts on there to choose from um, I'll be adding some more so be sure to look out for that and be sure to get in the contest um, It's awesome giveaway guys, and it's 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 free All you gotta do is talk a talk a friend and then subscribe them to the channel. That's pretty easy uh, Everybody's got at least one friend that you know who like yeah sure whatever man, but anyways <laughs> Thank you guys for coming uh, Love you all and get out there move <laughs>